Welcome to Outdoor Madness, everyone. Kerry Clark here. All right, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. So we're gonna get right into this. This is a Craftsman tool chest, okay? I'm gonna show you the price. The original price, right here, $599. I just picked this thing up for $100. That's right, you guys. I'm gonna show you the receipt. Okay, Craftsman 41 inch black and red tool cabinet, right? Here's the receipt, got it from Lowe's. All right, let me turn this light off. I think you can see better with this light off. So we're gonna go right here. Let's see if I can get it nice and close to where you can see it. If you look right here, Craftsman, 41 inch black and red tool cabinet. The price is right there, one, $100 right there. 41 inch tool chest. Now, of course, in order to get this thing for 100 bucks, there's a catch. So I'm gonna walk you around this thing, okay? What do you think? Why do you think I was able to pick this up for $100? What do you think is wrong with it? Okay, there's a the side, you saw the front. Let's go to the back. Okay, there's the back of it. Let's go to the other side. Okay, there's the other side. Now I'm gonna show you some of the drawers, which are really cool. You got this top one. This is supposed to be for like a laptop. Your cell phone, you can run a cord through here, keep your laptop in there and use it. You know, maybe if you're a mechanic or something like that, you're pulling up some, some diagrams or something on, on your laptop. You can just sit it right there and do it. Opens up right here also, you see? And you can store things in here too. It came with all the pads and all the drawers, all right, are these soft touch drawers, which I think are so cool. They just fall in like that. Now another thing, down here, okay? So right here, this is your charging station. So it came with these two holders that go here too. I just haven't put them together yet. And they hold your power tools. All right, you got your surge protector right here. You just plug them in right here, turn it on. That red light will come on. You go around here. This is where you run your cord, okay? You run your cord right there and run it in to a power outlet. And that way you can charge everything from inside your toolbox. Isn't that a trip? So here's what happened. When I was in Lowe's, there was another toolbox exactly like this one sitting next to this one, all right? But it did not have a price tag on it. So I'm wondering, okay, well, how come this one doesn't have a price tag? Is it the same or what? Now, this one did not have the wheels on it. It was just sitting on the ground, okay? I put those on as soon as I got it, got it uh, home. So when I called someone over, they came over and they said, hmm, you know, let me see what this one's going for. And it was a girl, she said, I'll tell you what, she goes, I'll sell you this one for $100. And I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about, 100 bucks? She goes, yeah. And so then what she did, so now you're gonna find out why it was $100. There it is, right there. That's why it's 100 bucks. See this big hole right here. So basically this was a display item. And at one time, I don't know what happened. I don't, it doesn't look like somebody, I don't know, somebody cut a hole in here. I guess they did something. What it was, honestly, I didn't even care. When I saw that everything else worked and all the stuff that it came with for a hundred bucks, I could care less. Because basically, if I want to use this as a workbench, all I have to do is put a piece of wood over top of this and it'll work perfect. Won't even know that that hole is there. So. I don't know about you guys, but with this COVID thing going on right now, it seems like every time I try to get something, especially something that's big, like for instance, I've been trying to get a, uh, a storage shed. Every time I go on Amazon <coughs> or I go to Home Depot or I go to Lowe's or something to try to find a storage shed, one that I need, I have to give them my money. You know, it could be 800 bucks, it could be a thousand bucks, it could be 1500 bucks, and then I hope to get that shed in a month, two months, three months, whatever. 
because COVID is just holding everything up. But what you can do is things that are on display. If you see something that you like, they don't have it in stock, but it's on display, ask them if they'll sell it. Nine times out of 10, they'll sell it to you and they'll sell it to you for a cheaper price. Even if there's just a little bit of damage, maybe some scratches or something on it. So don't hesitate you guys. Now's the time to try to save as much money as you can on anything. And uh, that's what I do. I'm a penny pincher, man. You know, I work hard for my money. So, and if I can do anything to help you guys save some money too, I want to do that. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. And get out there, find yourself some good discounts. I'm Kerry Clark for Outdoor Madness. We'll see you next time. <laughs>